Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading uh, till the end of October and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading Aquarius, we'll see uh, what is your energy, what you need to know. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section, Aquarius. I'm shuffling the cards. I'll lay them down and then we'll see what you need to know. We'll see the general messages and we'll see the uh, love messages till the end of October. <clears throat> All right. Page of Pentacles. The death and rebirth. Nine of Wands. Four of Swords. Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of Wand cards, huh? You might be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio. Pisces. <clears throat> Aquarius. Another Aquarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You will see a lot of 888, a lot of 444, 999, uh, 11 11. Hmm. You are undergoing a massive transformation. And the transformation is happening in your personality, Aquarius. Okay. I think, uh, Aquarius, you are very much in your comfort zone since last one or two years or a couple of years. Okay. You are doing things that you are good at. But there is also a need for you to move away from what you are good at and test yourself okay venture into an unknown territory venture into something where there is a risk involved okay because without risk without taking a chance there is no growth you also know that and somewhere you are feeling it uh, feeling it from within Aquarius that there is more to life life will not happen if I stay in a comfort zone if I stay in a cocoon for a long period that I have created uh, in in and around me I have to get out of this cocoon I have to be I have to push my limits get out of a comfort zone and test myself because that is exactly how I'm going to grow. Okay. That's what I see over here. You are very comfortable being a page. And you are in this energy of a page for a long, long, long time. Okay. And somewhere you have not realized that you have... I mean, you have created a life of this page but deep down you aspire to be something more maybe you want to be a knight maybe you want to be a queen maybe you want to be a, a king maybe you want to be an emperor or an empress okay but to reach there you have to push your limits you have to transform yourself and that's why we have death next to the page okay and not the case that 
the kind of life you are living right now is bad, it is fine. It is satisfactory, right? Maybe you are making some money. Not good, not bad. For some of you, you are actually making some good amount of money. Okay? But at the end of the day, there is always a calling, right? We, we feel the calling despite all the good situations around us. You know, sometimes we take the risk like, I know I am making some insane amount of money, but this is something that I need to test. Okay, this is this is my calling. I feel that hunch from within me. Okay, I need that. I, I feel that intuitive nudge that I need to change. I need to bring some changes in my life. There is something else for me to do. My life purpose probably is not what I am doing right now. Right? So for some of you, you probably are doing fine with your money. For some of you, you're making really good amount of money. For some of you, your life is stable. For some of you, your life is abundant. For some of you, yes, there are some struggles that are going on. For people who are struggling in their life, and not just monetarily, but otherwise also, definitely this is a calling for you. And you are feeling that since a very long time, if at all there are struggles that are going on in your life. For people who are satisfied with their life, still you are getting that intuitive nudge because this is universe's way to tell you, like this is not your life purpose. There is something else for you to do. There is something else for you to explore. So undergo the transformation. Force yourself to be a bit uncomfortable. Right? And that's why the death next to the page and you will actually feel it's not the case that the transformation is getting kick-started in the next couple of days. I think so. You're already undergoing a transformation, but you will start to feel that transformation though, or the effects of that transformation in the next couple of days. The first thing that you will notice about yourself is you won't feel anxiety, nervousness to stand, to stand up for yourself, to be unique, to be different. Okay, and Aquarius, you are known as the intellectual sign. You are known to be that unique zodiac sign. Uh, people embodying the uh, people who are uh, Aquarius is uh, zodiac sign people. They are cons they are known for their intelligence. They are known for their uniqueness. And somewhere, you had forgotten your original trait your original attribute that you are unique you are different okay so uh, that's what i see that you won't be scared to be this different person okay if you have a different opinion in the room of 10 people other nine people have the same opinion whereas you one single person you have a different opinion you won't be scared to stand your ground Hold up your opinion. Okay? Not in a hurting manner. Not that you want to hurt other people. But you also don't want to feel apologetic for having your own opinion. You also don't want to feel apologetic for uh, being different. Maybe you, you felt bad in the past. Bad in the sense you, you people, people don't like when someone is different. Okay, and who people who don't like when the other person is different, they try to take this different person or people with a different opinion, they try to take that person on a guilt trip. And many have done this in the past with you, and they probably even succeeded in doing that. But now, no, no, you won't be scared at all. You won't feel anxious at all. You won't feel the nervousness at all. And that is what that is how you will notice that you are the transformation has actually started or it has started showing effects on you okay for some of you you will also feel the urge see it's not necessary everybody is going to feel something like this okay some of you might experience some different symptoms you will feel like i don't want to stay here i want to move out of this place okay and you won't mind picking up a fight Maybe in the past, you were a bit scared of fighting with other people. Okay, how can I say my opinion? How can I keep my opinion? Uh, what other people will think? Okay, but no, you're becoming a stronger version of yourself. You're becoming more confident. 
you are also Uh, your communication skills will improve and social skills will improve so all these minor differences will become more noticeable over a period of time and that is how you will realize that you are transforming you are undergoing a transformation <clears throat> someone from the past is thinking a lot about you aquarius someone is really really thinking about you whoever this person is they want to come towards you they want to rush towards you with some heart to heart conversations okay i don't know why for many zodiac signs uh, i for two to three i'm doing the reading for all the 12 zodiac signs and somehow for two to three zodiac signs so far i have got this message that someone is trying to text you very likely text not call they will try to text through a different number with some anonymous identity or someone will try to create a fake profile on social media and then they will try to interact with you deal with you through messengers and apps and etc okay for you as well aquarius i feel like someone is trying to get in touch with you someone is trying to text you someone is trying to call you from a different number or with a with a pseudo under a pseudo name with a fake profile name okay <clears throat> as far as people from the past past are concerned i don't see you are interested in anyone from the past the chapters are over the matter is closed for you and you don't want to dug the old graves at all okay you want to you don't want to dig the old graves at all i think so you are preparing yourself aquarius for the next chapter of your life where you want to feel burdenless you don't want to carry the burdens of expectation of people okay people are so accustomed to keeping expectations from you everyone every single person that you have met in your life aquarius everybody is so accustomed to keeping uh, they they keep on expecting all the time your family members they are expect they are expecting from you like okay you will behave in a certain way you will do things for us uh, you will do xyz things for us okay and you have done those things for them and that is why expectation levels are always there your friends your friends are so uh, if you try to put a different opinion aquarius maybe your friends uh, did they, they used to never like it they used to put counter opinions and try to suppress your voice okay and you you sort of remained suppressed in such situations so you want to be that bold person where you don't want to carry expect you know uh, you don't want to carry the burden of expectations if they are expecting something from me i first and foremost i am not obligated to fulfill anybody's expectations and if i don't fulfill their expectations i don't want to go on a guilt trip no one has a right to take me on a guilt trip okay that's what i'm getting with 10 of wands uh see you want to remove the burden because you want to get into that light hearted energy you are having a very strain and a serious energy aquarius because somewhere you are feeling that the love life is not happening so far or people are there or your romantic energy is there in and around you but that's not entering in your life because you are in this heavy energy you are in this energy of uh you have taken the burden of the world you have taken you are very serious because you you feel like if i am not serious then i won't attract or i won't be able to fulfill my goals and then once i fulfill my goals and i'll attract the person or uh, you know whatsoever you have to get out of this serious energy you have to drop that energy where which is not serving you there is a light hearted energy that you need to have inside you you need to flirt with people that's what i'm getting <laughs> aquarius please start flirting with people i think so you have lost your touch base with uh, how dating works 
I don't know what kind of a burden you are carrying, but there are people who are interested in you. There are people, there are a lot many people, people are glued to you. But you know what? There is something that you need to walk away from. People are there in and around you. People are interested in you. Okay, but you need to walk away from something that is holding you back. Because see, the love of your life is waiting somewhere. You need to heal your broken heart. You have to walk away from this. You have to walk away from the broken heart energy. You got to heal yourself. Okay, I think so. There is some work in a work that you need to do, Aquarius. Love is there around the corner. Let me tell you, Aquarius. Love is there around the corner. Love is not far away. In fact, I feel that you have even crossed paths with your romantic partner, but you did not feel them because there is this God knows worldly burden that you are carrying on your back. Your life is going, fulfilling someone else's expectations. What about you? All right. Please get into date, uh, lighthearted energy. If you're out of practice, I'll say, I'll suggest log on to some dating app. Start dating. Okay. Because unless and until you get into a practice mode, when the actual thing will happen, you will be ready by then. That's what I'm getting. And also a shift will happen if you force yourself to, you know, be a part of such kind of situations. And that's why I feel like you need some practice. You need some dating practice. <laughs> all right. All right, Aquarius, take care of yourself. Okay. Do not, be, don't be so serious. Okay. Life is very short. Trust me. Life is, life is like short and, uh, you know, uh, there is a lot to enjoy. There is a lot to learn. There is a lot to do. And life is not meant to be taken so seriously. All right. Take care. Have a great time. And bye-bye, Aquarius.